and hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial so in this tutorial I'll show you how to blur a part of your video in Kden live so here I have a piece of the video this part right here as you can see I cut it wherever I want the blurring to happen so I want the blur to happen in this whole section if you want the blur to happen in a smaller section or a larger section then you should cut it as you need it so just this section here that I have cut right here only this will be blurred so when I play this you'll notice I have this right here now I want to block out this timestamp right there that's what I want to do so I need to try and blur just the, this part of the timestamp and we'll also learn how to do track this while blurring it because as you notice it moves up and we need to keep blurring that until this section right here is over where you don't see it anymore as you can see like that so how do you go about doing it well first you want to go here you want to right click and just ungroup these so Control shift G or ungroup then you want to get this one right here right click and you want to copy or control and C you then want to go here and paste and you want to align this up with the one underneath it so these two videos should be aligned you'll notice that they snap to each other they should be aligned once you have this then hold shift and click on all three of these tracks if you don't have an audio track then don't worry about clicking on your audio track because audio is not important just these two videos that are very important then right click and say group this is so we don't accidentally move the stop clip from its course and if we try and cut this these parts right here is going to cut with it and we don't have to worry about it so just take that as note then once you have that we want to start blurring the things so first you want to go here and say alpha so you go to the search bar under effects so in a fixed then search bar and you want to get the alpha shapes mask take that and drag it onto the top one onto the top video clip once you have that you'll see no change but when you click on it you'll notice a little box here and this box is what's going to be blurred out this box represents a section of this top video because we're going to blur out this entire top video but this box represents that section of this top video so we want to drag it to right about here then we want to go like this so we can resize it and just put it over that we don't have to blur out anything else so I'm just going to blur out that part once you have that you want to make it follow this so let's go to where it moves a little bit so as you can see it moved there a little bit so let's go back and now here we are here as you can see right there now I'm going to just press my arrow keys to move forward and backwards and you'll notice I have a little black thing right there the little arrow that is what you should be looking at as you can see it moved right there so here I'm going to go back a few frames by pressing the arrow keys and then I'm going to double click to bring up this right there that's called a keyframe this allows for animations now I'm going to go back to where it started moving by pressing the arrow keys on your keyboard and then just once you see it move just drag it and it will create its own little keyframe right there so don't have to worry about creating another one exactly there it will do it for you you continue with this until you see maybe another movement and as you can see they're moved so let's just go here and we can block it out and we can block it out okay and after that it doesn't move okay so now that you have done that you can just go back here to the effects search for blur and use this Guasson blur I found this to be the best and we just drag and drop it over here click on this video and then we can just hide this part it's not important and then right here this gamma there or I think that's gamma I can't really read that it's too light for me sigma I think then if we go like that yeah it's sigma then the more you bring it up the more it will blur it out 
the less it's there, the less it will blur down. So as you'll see in the video, the more I take it up, the more it blurs. The nice thing here with the background is if you blur it enough, you can almost not see it at all anymore. As you can see right there, it's basically gone. People basically can't see that I've blurred it out. Okay, then once you have gotten your perfect blur, you can just mess around with this. I don't know too much about this, so I can't really explain it. All I know is that these two right here, this top and bottom one, those are the most important. Okay, then let's see here. Yeah, you can't even see it. Now, if we go here to the back where it moves, you can even see it move a little bit there. You can maybe fix it up to make it look a bit better, which is pretty simple. You just click here, and if you see something you don't like, you go to this alpha part right here, and you just find out where it moves, and you just make sure it's moving correctly. Anyways, now let's play it and see. Yeah, I messed up right there. I don't want that to be there. So I'm going to go back here. And let's go here back to that. Click on this. And we're going to see where I messed up. Here. Here is where I started messing up and I moved it too far. So I'm going to go back. Right here. And I'm just going to keep it here. As you'll see, it creates another free keyframe. And let's see. Okay, so here it stays. We might want to just bring that down back. And you just play around with it until you're completely sure it's exactly as you want it. Okay, I think it is. Let's play that again. Yes, perfect. That worked perfectly fine. So that is how you blur a section of a video. It's pretty simple. You mostly just have to kind of figure out what works best for you. You don't need necessarily need to use the same blur, but I do recommend with the alpha that you do use mask because mask is basically what we did here. It masked a section of that video. And yeah, that's the basics. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all again in the next tutorial.